Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we're going to be making a chair. Now I'm going to show you a very simple way to make a chair in this episode, and then hopefully you get done with that, and then the next several episodes will be devoted to making a chair in a more complex way using multiple parts. So first let's look up a chair with dimensions. We're going to find something easy, um, nothing like too complicated, like something like this. Well, even that looks a little bit challenging. So let's find um, like this. We'll, we'll do something like this. It'll have straight legs, straight back, um, but the overall we'll use these dimensions for it. So we're going to go into Fusion 360 and we're going to make sure that we're on a clean slate. And then we're going to click our create sketch up here and then we might as well start on this axis down here this plane so now what we're going to do is we're going to start off by making a box and if we look at our dimensions um, it looks like our box is going to be um, it's going to be let's see 48 by 52 because if you're looking at it from the top down um, it would be 48 centimeters wide and 52 centimeters deep. So let's go into uh, Fusion 360 and actually let's set our um, let's set our units. Since it's in centimeters, why do millimeters when we can just use centimeters here? So we'll hit OK and now we've got it in centimeters. So now what did we say our box was 52 by 48? So let's do that. We'll take a two point rectangle. Um, or we can press our S and then find our center rectangle. Click here and type in 52 tab 48. Hit enter. Scroll out so that we can see it. Okay. 52 by 48. Good. So 48 is the front side of the chair. So we'll have to remember that. Keep that in mind. So now what we're going to do is extrude this, or press pull it. So we need to see that our height is 96 centimeters overall. So the, the way I'm switching, by the way, is pressing Alt and Tab at the same time, and then I just release it very quickly so that it seems instantaneous. Um, if you were on a Mac, you would hold the Command button and click the arrow keys, and that would switch between screens for you. So let's make this 96 centimeters tall by pressing Q for press pull. We're going to click on our box, or yeah, so our square right here. And then we're going to make our distance. You can either type it in here or up in here. We're going to make it 96. And then we're going to hit enter. And now we can't really tell, but if we hold shift and middle click, we've got a nice tall box here. And we know that the front side, this is our 48 centimeter side. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at it from the side. So this is, if we look at this this way, that's what this is seeing, where 52 centimeters is the front facing side. So what we're going to do is, so it says that it's up 46 centimeters and 46 centimeters in height here and 51 centimeters in height here now if you do the math that to me looks like um, 97 centimeters so I think that this is a little inaccurate but we're just gonna go with it so since it doesn't really give a, d a dimension about our cushion here we'll make that 5 centimeters so what we'll do is we'll do 50 centimeters tall and 41 centimeters tall for the legs okay and then five centimeters for each leg five centimeters for the cushion and five centimeters for the back i think that's fair so let's start by cutting out um let's start by cutting out this section here so that we have this hole and we want to leave five centimeters on each end for our legs so let's do that real quick so we're going to click on our sketch and we're going to click on this face here. And now we know that we want um, five centimeters on each side. So we're going to hit S and then we're going to click on a line. 
or you, conversely you could hit L. Now we're going to click on one corner and we're going to bring it in by 5 centimeters. So we're just going to type in 5 and hit enter. That's going to give us the thickness of our leg. We're going to do the exact same thing by pressing L, clicking on the corner, typing in 5, and hit enter. All right. So now that will allow us to know where we need to end our rectangle, basically. So we're going to, we said that we wanted to make the, uh, the legs 41 centimeters tall. So we're going to go and press S and we're going to choose our two point rectangle because it will be a little bit easier this time. And we're going to click there. Now we're going to click on the one corner here and then we're going to drag it over here and we're not holding the click button though. We're going to put our mouse over this dot and if we highlight it for a second, then when we go up, you'll notice that it snaps to it. See, we can go close and it snaps. Close and it snaps. So that way we know that we have the right dimensions. And we wanted 41 centimeters, so we're going to type 41. And that's really the only dimension we have to worry about. Press enter. And now we've got our nice little rectangle. Now while we're at it, what we wanted to do is make our cushion be five centimeters tall and our back five centimeters tall. So what we can do is go to and make another line, press L, click here on the corner, and then go in five centimeters. Now we also need to know that our cushion is five centimeters tall here. So what we're going to do is since we're going to be dragging and making a square that goes all the way from there all the way down to this corner here, we're going to highlight this corner here and then bring it over, which makes it, see how it snaps to it? So that way we know we're at the same position as this line here. Click there, and we're just going to go up five centimeters. So that way, when we draw this rectangle, we know that we have the two corners, and then we don't have to worry about anything else. So that makes it nice and simple, so we can press S, click on our two-point rectangle, and then we're going to start up here, or you could start at the bottom, doesn't matter and then get to our other corner and then we're going to click on it. Now that looks a little bit funny to me how thin that cushion is so what we're going to do is we're going to press Control Z a couple times one two alright we'll leave the back as five centimeters but I want to make the cushion ten centimeters now so we're going to do the exact same thing by going down here sliding over clicking and then we're going to do 10 centimeters. So we'll type in 10, hit enter, and now I think that'll be a more appropriate size. So we'll do our rectangle again. Click and drag. And there we go. So now we have both of these rectangles here which will cut out from our overall chair. So we're just going to hit enter and then we're going to hit Q. Now this is our press pull, so we're going to click and we're going to click on both of these guys. You can click on one, click on two, click and click it again to deselect it. So as long as you see we have two selected, so now we're going to press shift and click on our scroll wheel. And see how our arrow is directed outward? If we gave this a positive value of like a distance of 10 centimeters, it's going to extrude it. It's going to push it out. What we want to do is we want to cut out from it. So we're going to make it a negative number. So what we're going to type in is, I don't remember exactly how wide it is, so we're just going to type in negative 60, because I know that'll be enough, and it even shows you that it's enough. And we're just going to hit enter. Now you can kind of see our chair is definitely starting to take some shape. It looks a lot more like a chair than a box, which is nice. So next step, we're going to need to cut out these two sides so that we can have our actual legs so we can see them. So let's do that. So we're going to look at the front here. It doesn't really matter all that much because when we click create sketch, we're going to choose this face. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We know we want to make it five centimeters wide, so we're going to select our line here. Drag it out five centimeters. Oh, goodness. My bad. <laughs> we'll do that one more time. Click on our line and we'll drag it out five centimeters. And press L once more and do the exact same thing, five centimeters. 
and now we know that we wanted to make it 41 centimeters high so we're gonna click bring it over and highlight and that way it'll snap so the only measurement we have to change is the height so we're gonna make it 41 just like the other side hit enter now we're going to press Q so that we can extrude this click on our box here and then we're going to do negative 60 again because I don't remember the dimensions I just know that 60 is bigger than what it should be so if we bring it over we can tell that yeah it goes all the way through and we're going to press enter or enter there it goes finally and now look at that we've got a nice chair with some legs so that's pretty cool so overall that's pretty much how you do it like there's not much more to it for at least this type of chair it's it's fairly rudimentary we can do some cutouts and make it a little bit prettier but you know let's you know what? let's try that let's go here and click on create one more sketch and we're gonna highlight the back of the chair you know give it like a nice rectangle with like um it a, a little divot here I, uh, you guys will see what I mean because <laughs> we're gonna be drawing it so you'll understand it in a second um, so we're going to make this five centimeters wide because it makes it nice and easy to think about that so first uh, we want to have the top be at least five centimeters let's just say every border wants to be five centimeters so we're gonna click on the corner drag it out five centimeters hit enter and draw one more line five centimeters down oh nope 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 there you go enter and now from here what we're going to do is we're going to click on our first corner here and then just bring it down to the bottom and it will select the bottom and, and snap to it so we don't have to worry about that and then we're going to hit tab because our our number was highlighted on on the length here and we don't want that we know that the, we want the length to go all the way down so we're going to hit tab so that we can select our other dimension and let's make it 10 centimeters yeah let's do 10 and now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side click on our line 5 centimeters and 5 centimeters down and now you can select another rectangle here and then we're going to hit tab 10 enter and then hit Q and we're going to click on our two cutouts that we wanted to make and we're going to you know what? let's do the little push pull it's fun so this would be extruding it well first let's make sure that we have both selected and so we're just gonna bring it backwards so it's red which means it's taking away material and hit enter and then what I wanted to do was make um, two like divots in the middle kind of like half circles so we're gonna do another create sketch click on that back of the chair real quick and then we're going to click center diameter circle this will make it nice and easy and if you see all of a sudden it snaps to the middle here this is the center line of this line here which is nice so we don't have to do any calculations or anything it knows that this is the middle this is where we want it to be so we're gonna snap there and we're just gonna bring it out a bit yeah I guess I did make it a little bit too uh, thin so what we'll do instead is we'll probably do an arc of some sort yeah let's do a three-point arc so start point so now we are actually going to have to draw some, some lines so we know that this length here is 40 centimeters so what we're going to do is we'll do um, oh goodness let's start it 10 centimeters down so we'll do 10 centimeters and then we'll do 10 centimeters from the bottom as well and we know that our width is 18 centimeters across so we'll go we'll go five centimeters in from the middle here that way there will be eight centimeters in the in between these two that is still substantial 
And now we're going to do our arc again, our three point arc. Select our mid or our start point, our end point, and then the middle point. And now what we can do is Q and then click here, click on those two guys, and then we're going to cut these out. Bam, hit enter. Wow, look at that. It's all coming together. <laughs> now hopefully you can understand what I was trying to do before. So we're going to do the exact same thing real quick. I just wanted to make sure it would work because, <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't completely sure. Um, and so another neat trick you can do is, so like, let's say we want to go down 10 centimeters. and eh, we don't want to type it anymore, so we're just going to go over here. And then that's going to keep it exactly where that line is. So I guess it wasn't exactly 10 centimeters. But we're going to go over here again and then highlight it for a second, which means we're going to snap to it. And that's going to keep us on that line with it, which is nice. Of course, it doesn't want to keep it all the way there, so we're going to type in 10 centimeters anyway. I don't think this one was right, so we're going to delete that and do it once more. Just type in 10. Oh, goodness. One more try. 10 centimeters. There we go. Alrighty, and now we're going to go to our center point. And then we're going to go over five centimeters. And then we're going to create our arc once more. So our start, our end, and then our middle point. And now we can hit Q and then click on our two little points there and just extrude them. Hit enter. And there we go. That's a pretty neat design. I think that's pretty cool. So that is how we create a simple chair out of just a single part. Now next time what we're going to do is we're going to start at least making a multi-part chair. So we're going to make the cushion separately, the, the top part separately, so the back and all the legs separately. So it'll be interesting to see and then we'll be able to actually show how to assemble things once more so that, you know, at, over time with practice we become more familiar with it. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see me do next. Um, I'm here to help you guys out and liking and, and subscribing definitely helps me out because that way I know that I'm doing the right kind of thing and helps the channel out. So thank you again and tune in next time so that you can see how we can actually start making a more complex chair than this one. <laughs>